Good afternoon, my name is Michael Suchanka. I'm the product manager for installed products at True Europe and I would like to introduce you to two new products. We're starting with what we call Microflex Wireless, which is a multi-channel wireless system dedicated for corporate environments like boardrooms, meeting rooms, also universities, education facilities. This multi-channel microphone system has back channel capability so it also carries backwards channels which for example can be the far end of an audio conference or translated languages. If we look at the forward direction which is several channels of um, microphones then the heart of the system consists of what we call the access point. The access point is the front end of a receiver and is nicely designed for corporate boardrooms, integrates nicely because of its design rather than having bulky antennas in boardroom environments. This unit keeps a bidirectional connection to the portable transceivers like for example gooseneck transceivers or boundary transceivers. Those are placed on the corporate boardroom table. The access point actually demodulates audio and sends them via Dante format on only one network cable that is the connection between the boardroom and the equipment room and in the equipment room you can for example place what we call an audio network interface which is a 19 rack unit which acts on the one hand as a breakout box to get all the input and output channels in analog format if requested and it also incorporates a four port switch um, optimized for running the complete network here so this piece actually holds the network all together. Talking about a fully networked uh, system, we also have chargers here that are networked. So they belong to the system and we can slide in the portable units here and by pressing a link button, we can actually assign those channels to the multi-channel capability of the access point. Uh, this system is based on DECT transmission, so we're talking about 1900 megahertz transmission range and we can accomplish up to 40 channels spread on, for example, five of those access points each H channel, uh, as long as there's no other DEC device active in an environment. Um, we have lithium ion rechargeable batteries, uh, two hours to full charge, nine hours of battery life, uh, the boundary microphones are available in Omni and Cardioid and the gooseneck microphones um, all carry our proprietary six pin connector and can be equipped either with these five inch units or 10 or 15 inch units either with bidirectional color ring at the bottom or with red ring microphones indication at the top end. The whole system can be or shall mainly be controlled by a software. The software is an embedded uh, web based or browsed GUI in the access point. So it can either be accessed via a standard laptop by opening a browser and typing I the IP address into it, or the whole system can also be controlled by AMX, Crestron, and other media control systems. The software shows several tabs. What we see here is the monitor tab that gives you a status information about all the channels. But there are also other channels for system configuration, um, hardware overview, what we call utility tab, and also preferences where you can select and define specific functionalities um, of those portable units. For example, uh, taking them out of the charger, so shall they start in active or in mute mode, and details like that. The whole system can also be password protected and again can be controlled by any unit that uh, speaks TCP IP protocol. The second of the new products I would like to introduce you to is the SEM820 Digital Intellimix microphone mixer. This box incorporates a lot of the functionality of the very successful SEM810 that Shure has in its portfolio already for almost 20 years. The SEM820 is now as uh, well a standalone mixer as the SEM810 was or a, or a companion mixer to mixing consoles. But due to the fact that this modern box is now networked, this can also create um, networks by linking several units of, of SEM820. 
you can either connect four of these boxes by just daisy chaining them um, and create a, up to 32 channel mix or you can even carry more of those by using a third party gigabit switch and create a bigger network and create uh, mixes up to 96 channels which is equivalent to 12 boxes. The mixer is available in several hardware configurations. There is a block connector version available uh, that has logic ins and outs. Um, we have two outputs that's equal for all of the boxes. The other version is more intended for uh, rental applications where the connections are um, XLR and uh, DB25. And in order to get from DB25 to XLR, we also apply the uh, proper cable snakes. I mentioned before that it has two outputs. So the digital format of IntelliMix, which is our successful Intelli in mixing algorithm that we have been carrying in the analog box, SEM810, uh, so many years is now transferred to the digital domain. And since it has two outputs, we can either run one of those mixers in what we call a single mixer mode. I'm taking all of the eight channels then and create one mix that is split to two outputs. The two outputs can be treated differently in terms of parametric EQ, uh, gain and limiter. Or alternatively, I could run the mixer in what we call the dual mixer mode, where I create two different separate IntelliMix modes uh, for two different rooms that probably have different acoustics and then use the two different outputs independently from each other. I can have the unit either with just one network port, which is for controlling, or I can also have it in a Dante version where the standard network card is exchanged against a Dante card and then provides direct um, connectivity to any other device in the industry that talks Dante. The mixer finally can also be controlled via software. The software is a web-based uh, GUI implemented in the box itself, requires only a PC and uh, typing in the appropriate IP address in a browser. And then I can control the units, I can set passwords, I can mix, I can control, I can configure, I can create link groups out of several mixers. So there are various options that can be done with the software, but the software is not essentially necessary. Since there are some rear plate controls, I can also use the boxes right out of the box, run them um, and control the main functions over the rear panel out of the box. Um, and this way, not necessarily, I'll stick to software.